Um, Ewing, can yes. you tell me a little bit about who is Christopher Robin? Christopher Robin, we know and love from the original stories and, and from Disney's cartoons. So we sort of know him as a child, as a, we know, he's almost like the parent figure in, with Winnie the Pooh in a way. And then um, our film starts there. We see, we see Christopher Robin as the seven-year-old leaving Hundred Acre Wood with the creatures have all got together to throw him a farewell party. And then we see a very quick montage of the, his life going through school, boarding school, um, university, meeting his love, getting married, having a baby, and then going off to war and fighting in the war. And um, that's sort of where our story picks up when he's come back from war and he's struggling to find his way. He's got a very high pressure job. He, he's the um, efficiency manager in a luggage company. And post-war, of course, the luggage company is doing very badly because nobody's buying luggage because nobody's going on holiday. Nobody's got any money. So, there, so he's responsible as the efficiency manager to try and make the company su succeed so that they don't have to fire lots and lots of people. And so he's on his shoulders are many, many people's jobs. He feels responsible. And he's bringing that home. He's not very happy at home with his yeah. wife and yeah. his daughter. And he's not, he's not able to spend any time with them other than just him being there, being worried about his work. So yeah. that's where we start. And, and, and so we've, we know this lovely young free boy and now we find out that he's a rather unhappy that grown the world man. has gotten to him a little mm. bit. Right. Mm. What is it about these characters that you think keeps them so relevant and popular all these years? There's a real charm to them. I think it comes from the, the writing. And A. A. Milne, I think, you know, wrote these such beautiful, innocent, pure characters that children immediately respond to. But then reading them again as adults, there's this in, in Pooh's kind of literal, matter-of-fact saying what he sees, he ends up saying things that are actually quite profound. And in them also have kind of witticisms, and there's a, a real, there's a humor in the, in the writing that I think adults can see more, more so than, than children, so they can relate to it in, in that sense. Um, so, and I think it's just the, the purity of, of connection between something that just loves you and wants to hang out and n not do anything with you, and that itself being enough. This, I think it's a great antidote to a much fast-paced modern life that we live in. Thank you. Uh, what's your personal favorite Pooism, either of you? I have liked that one where he talks about what the, I, I, what does he say? I often find, find. I find my, I find. <laughs> <laughs> I can get to where I'm going I go, by I, leaving. Where I've been? Gone. I often find <laughs> where I'm going, oh, I can't remember. <laughs> I don't have one. I like it when he says rumbly in my tumbly. <laughs> <laughs> I like the one where I love the the the, the Pooism I love is um, people say nothing's impossible but I do nothing every day and a classic example of, of a bear who says something in quite a naive way but actually it's quite profound because I think today it's quite hard to do nothing it's mm. quite hard to sit there and not do anything yeah mm. uh, did this working on this film bring back any childhood memories for you guys yes I spent a lot of time in the wood I come from a very small town in Scotland and a town called Creef, and it's built on a hillside that's surrounded by this woodland. And um, so I spent a lot of time in a wood when I was a kid, just knocking about with my friends and or on my own with my dog or whatever, and sort of making the up games and you know just just I don't know what we did, but yeah. we spent our whole summer holidays in there. Mm. I'd leave in the morning and I'd come home at night, and my parents I had no idea what I'd been up to. Or mm -hmm. Didn't and it didn't matter. Didn't matter. Of time. No, no concept of time, long days. I, I found that, I remember summers growing up in Kansas City where my father's side of the family are from, and similar to you, and of, of going outside uh, and just hanging out with kids in the neighborhood, and not really particularly doing anything, but going from kind of yard to yard, and just walking around and seeing who we could see and saying mm. hi to people and just playing and spotting lightning bugs just at night time. It was just the sense of kind of the summer's never ending and everything expanding. It was beautiful. Lovely.